Here's a quick clip from my conversation with Pastor Tommy Reed where I was able to ask him about the centrality of the kingdom of God in Jesus' teaching. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. We have the incredible honor to sit down with Pastor Tommy Reed, who is really a hero in the faith. And you may or may not know him, but in just a few moments, you're going to hear really about a doctrine, if you will, that you were able to um, uh, really pioneer, or I should say maybe bring back onto the scene a biblical doctrine that now is commonplace, but um, it's really the idea of the kingdom of God breaking in today. You wrote a book a few years ago now on the kingdom now but not yet. Could you tell us a little bit about that and maybe some of the opposition you ran into? Well, uh, let me tell you how I, I, I got where I am. Uh, first of all, I strongly believe that the kingdom now exists. It's not just a millennial event. Jesus left us with the kingdom. He said the kingdom is now here. And as long as the king is here, mm. the kingdom is here. I mean, you can't separate the two. And when you look at the scripture, what I found when God began to speak to me, and I'll tell you how God spoke to me in a minute, when you realize that everything Jesus talked about was about the kingdom, and I had to answer the question, if all I said was about the kingdom, then how can that be relegated to the millennium? Mm. It has to be now. Otherwise, his teachings aren't even relevant until we get sure. to the millennium. Sure. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take all the red letters and take the, well, we don't have to believe that until the millennium. Wow. Now, how it happened to me was that w God began to speak to me to read the red letters. What did Jesus talk about? And the only thing I saw him talk about was the kingdom. So then I began to question my eschatology. I questioned everything I believed because I can't relegate this to a millennial reign. I have to see it's in the now. And Jesus said, preach the kingdom, and if you preach it, what will happen? The blind will see, the lame will walk, the devil will hear. If you preach the kingdom. Well, what was I to preach? Was I to preach yeah. the doctrine of faith or the doctrine of the kingdom? So one day I was, uh, we were the steel industry, and Buffalo was a steel city. Uh, the, the city of Buffalo was ready to experience its greatest trauma in that they were closing down Bethlehem Steel. And I was on the top of the Father Baker Bridge and looked down at the steel plant. Now my wife worked there. She was in the office at Bethlehem Steel. It employed 25,000 people. You take 25,000 jobs out of a city like Buffalo, and then you take the 50,000 or 100,000 peripheral jobs, all of a sudden they close a plant and the city loses about 125,000 jobs. What's going to happen to the city? And as I'm driving across the bridge, I hear this voice and the Lord says to me, I know it's the Holy Spirit from deep within here. I heard these words, do you have enough faith to say to the dying bones of that steel plant, rise and walk again? And I knew it wasn't just the steel plant itself, it was the city, it was, it was the spiritual part of a city. Do you have the faith to say that? I said, that's, that's not my question. I'm not responsible for a steel plant. And all of a sudden, it dawned on me, if the teachings of Jesus are right, then it has to do with the kingdom. It has to do with his rule and reign. I ought to be in that area. And I went back and I picked up my Bible again and I began to read the parables of Christ, the parables of, of, of things like uh, the one that talks about our responsibility to make profit. Wow, you know, if you don't make profit, I'm gonna cast you into eternal fire. You mean to tell me that business has a spiritual part? Wow. And all of a sudden I began to realize that my responsibility as a preacher was not just to preach in the pulpit and get people to go to heaven. It was to bring heaven to the earth. Mm. It was to bring the kingdom of God. The world groans, creation groans for the manifestation of the sons of God. That's not millennial. Today creation groans for the manifestation of a kingdom people who are under the rule and reign of Christ. That's how I got where I was. I had to realize that Jesus wanted me to pray one single prayer. When, when the disciples asked him what they pray about, he said this was to pray about. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I have a responsibility as a preacher of the gospel to bring a new world, not just the millennium, but to bring the world of the kingdom to the world now. 